Hello, this is Mike Russell from MusicRadioCreative.com. By the end of this short tutorial, you'll know how to do the sliding pitch shift effect. I've had this comment from Emilio Castro on my YouTube channel, who's asked me how to change it so that a voice goes from higher pitched down to maybe normal or a lower pitched voice. Well, Emilio, this is how I do it in Adobe Audition. First of all, take a listen to my sample that won't really make any sense at this present moment. I sound like a chipmunk, but slowly I will transform into the big bad wolf. So clearly what I want to do here is start off at a higher pitch and go down to a lower pitch. I'll show you exactly how to do that. Go into the effects menu, time and pitch, stretch and pitch process to bring up this wonderful dialog box. Now make sure in the algorithm you've selected audition and not isotope radius in the latest version of Adobe Audition. Then you'll need to select pitch shift here and tick final pitch shift. This is where you can now choose to go from, say, 10 semitones, which will be a higher pitch, to minus 10 semitones, which will be a lower pitch. Click OK to apply, and now take a listen. I sound like a chipmunk, but slowly I will transform into the big bad wolf. And that's exactly how to achieve the sliding pitch shift effect in Adobe Audition. If you have an audio production question, leave a comment below this video. I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com.